Rose. Rose. I run um, Rising Up Manchester Families, which is a family climate action group. I'm recording this, taking five minutes out from our meeting, which is um, happening at the Art Gallery Sunday afternoon in town. I'm really sorry I can't be with you and to get to meet and talk to you, but um, evening meetings are really quite difficult for parents. So if you're a parent and you've made it there tonight, well done. Um, so I'm, I'm not actually gonna talk about climate breakdown. There is a huge amount of information available if, once you start to look. It's, unfortunately, it's everywhere. You can find out everything, everything that you want. What I am gonna talk about, maybe a little bit self-indulgently, is me. And that's not because I'm in any way special, it's because I'm not, because things that apply to me apply to so many other people. So, I first started to like really think about climate change when I had my daughter and she's five and a half. I think becoming a parent really makes you just think about the world that you're bringing your child into. And I, I so much wanted to get involved in making it a better place and in taking action. But there are all sorts of things that as a parent, it just, it's really hard. So evening meetings are very much one of those things. It's, it's just hard to get to an evening meeting to find childcare, to find that time. But there are other things as well. I'd, I'd sometimes go to protest and uh, first of all, my child did not like them at all. She really didn't enjoy the noise or the shouting or that kind of element. Um, also, you sometimes feel if you go to protest, you're not really sure how effective they are or whether it really made any difference you being there that day or whether you're just like a number. It's also things that sound really silly, but like if you don't know someone that's going, if none of your friends are interested, that is genuinely something that will stop you going on the day. And other things about are you eco enough? Are you the right kind of person? All of these things can, can actually be a reason that people don't take action. So when Extinction Rebellion started, I was looking at what they were doing. It seemed really exciting. But again, I was feeling like I can't participate because of the evening meetings. I can't take my child to this. I'm not going to talk to them about how we're all going to die about extinction. And I was having these conversations with Extinction Rebellion people. And they were saying, no, it's fine, bring kids, bring kids, it's all fine. But it, it wasn't, and it certainly wasn't fine for my kid. So from all of this, Rising Up was created. It's, it's to kind of solve those kind of barriers that people have to taking action. We know as parents that we care so desperately about the world that our, our children are growing up in, but that doesn't mean that you actually, that it's possible to do anything about it. So what Rising Up is about is making it possible for you to take action. So we have a number of aims. Uh, firstly, all our meetings and our actions are child friendly and they're fun. Um, we put on lots of activities, we think about how kids are gonna get involved. But also we, we make sure that they're effective, that you can trust if you come and get involved in something, that we have thought through what the messaging is. We've told the press that we've thought, well, if the press won't come, that we've got our own ways of getting messages out on social media. I think that's really important. Um, another thing is that we want to be part of breaking the silence on climate change, about talking about what is happening to our world and just making that part of everyday conversations. We also, it's very much about how our children are going to find out about climate change that they've got to learn these facts and it breaks my heart, but that if children can find out about it, when they're part of trying to change it, it kind of, it takes away that powerlessness and it, 
it gives them some kind of agency in this. Um, another part of us is that we're building community, that we're there for each other. But the most important thing that we're doing, we hope, is to make families part, like a powerful voice in demanding change and a future for our children. And I'd love for any parents to get involved with us. Mark will have leaflets and information about how you can contact us. Thank you very much. Bye.